Hey, Morgan Wallen on the line. Thanks for calling in, man. Yes, sir. How you doing? Doing well, doing well. We can't wait for some serious big mullet energy here in Bangor this summer. Florida Georgia Line, Dan and Shay <laughs> and Hardy. Uh, will this be your first trip to Bangor? Man, yeah, I think so. I've been in Maine, you know, a, a few places, but I don't believe I've been to Bangor. Well, you're going to be playing right on the Bangor waterfront, which is right along the Penobscot River. And as a fellow bass bagging machine, you'll love it. You, can, If you got a rod and reel, get into some smallmouth oh, yeah. right there, man. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, do y'all get out on the boat out there or usually just... It's- fish off the bank on the, on the river. I've, I've done off the bank, and I've actually got in some pretty good smallies, you know, pickerel. I've caught a shoe before. Uh, it wasn't <laughs> my size, so I threw it back, catch and release, but man, I saw the one you posted on your Instagram the other day. Wow! Are you talking about the one I caught yesterday? Yeah. I caught yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, man, that was, a, that was a pretty good one, man. I, I was down in Alabama fishing on uh, the Tennessee River, which um, we were in the Gunnersville Lake portion of it, but um, man, I, I hooked it and I was like, man, I, I, cut, I go fishing with my cousin a lot. He was down there, and uh, he was like, "Is it a good one?" I was like, "Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good one." And then it jumped out the water, and I was just like, oh. "I saw it," and I started shaking. You know, like, I was, yeah, feeling. Yeah, I don't even know if the picture does it justice, man. It was like ten point two pounds. Wow. <laughs> That was, that was one of the biggest fish I've ever caught so far. Wow. Well, when you're up here, I mean, I'm telling you, we got tons of water for you to fish in. I mean, is that something you get to do a lot on tour? Um, you know, it just depends on what's going on on that, on that given day. But I went to Bass Pro Shops and got like a, a mobile, you know, thing. I got a couple things that I can – I got every, everything I would need for the road. So I, I want to have that handy. I obviously don't have – I'm pulling – two trailers right now so i don't have room for like a boat or anything but, <laughs> um <laughs> just wait for that headlining uh, tour yeah I'm, I'm trying to that's something that i would like to do you know some people i know some some of some other singers that pull like little cars behind them in their trailer or whatever but if they're gonna i would rather bring a boat if i was gonna bring anything i like <laughs> your style behind me. i get to do i get to do it a little bit you know especially if there's somebody in the area who is a uh, Super, there's always somebody that's really nice and offers to take us out on their boat or whatever, you know, something like that. So we go as much as we can, but not as much as I'd like. Well, like I said, right on the bank, you might get into something here in Bangor. and uh, I'm going to give it a shot, that's good. for sure. All right, fantastic. Hey, congrats. <laughs> I see whiskey glasses at number one, like on all these charts, man. That's got to feel great. Yeah, man, it does. Thank you. Um, I, I've always felt that song to be special. And um, it just seems like everyone is relating to it really well, and you know we've all been there. Oh yeah, and that's I think mean, I guess that's why people relate to it so well. And I, I always thought the groove of it was unique and yeah, catchy as well. So I'm just I'm just glad that people are are loving it the way they are. And thank you guys for playing it, man. And it's uh it's it's really been a a cool thing to watch from absolutely. From I mean, sure. I, when I heard your record, which I can't believe that's over a year old at this point, that song was a standout. And there's this song I just I can't get out of my head. I love this. It's probably one of my favorites on the record, "Chasing You." Man, I love that song. Well, I'm glad because that's gonna be the next single. So, <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Well, I'll, I'll while I got you on the line, I'll, I'll say it in advance. Uh, congrats on yet another number one hit because that's one <laughs> that's gonna fly right up the charts, man. I love that song. I hope so, man. That one, um, I obviously love Whiskey Glasses, Love Up Down. That's been my single so far. But this Chasing You is, has always been a personal favorite of mine. I wrote it when I first moved to, to Nashville just to get some things off my chest. You know, just, I don't know, it means a lot to me. So I hope that it, I hope that it resonates just as well as these past couple have. For sure. Thank you for, for saying that also. Oh, absolutely. And now I, I, I was wondering if you were going to get another single off that album because I, I see that you got nine new songs recorded. Yeah, well, uh, seven, I think. Well, oh, okay. technically, you're right. No, nine, you're right, because I did seven on my own, and then me and Hardy recorded two together. I don't know. We are going to keep going off this album. I, I, I'm really, whenever we put that album out, I was, you know, we worked hard on it for a little while, and I was proud of what we did, and it seems like it's still growing, you know? Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to, you know, give it as many chances as we really can, just because it's, because of what it's doing. And um, but we're also going to release new music here and there. I don't, we haven't really figured out when or exactly the you know the strategy we're going to use as far as that goes. But we're gonna, we're definitely going to put out some some more new music this year. So just try we're going to try to you know not completely distract from what's on the radio, but also have new music for you know the 
some there's been there's fans who's been there from the beginning and you know they we feel like they deserve it and there's and especially with this day and age it's okay if we just drop a song every now and then you know we don't have to put out an album but i do want to i i, I love albums i love whole pieces of work so i'm gonna, definitely going to put out another album just um i don't know when that's going to be probably next year at some point all right, well, we'll be standing by for that one. And, you know, when you're out on the road, too, you know, you're, you're spending so much time on the road, you know that there's going to be more songs, more fans to jump on, <laughs> too. So That's for sure, man. We do spend a lot of time on the road. And I, I like to ride on the road, too. You know, sometimes I bring my, with my buddies out here to ride with me, or, you know, we might even be playing a show with my buddies or whatever. And, uh, yeah, there's always going to be more songs, and hopefully we can just keep them honest and keep them real and, and so that's all we can hope for well i was gonna you, you already got that first part all set because man i i just like i said the debut album i loved i even uh had some tracks from the previous one beforehand too i mean i go back to the voice days man <laughs> that means a lot man thank you yeah it's uh it's crazy uh i guess i've been putting out songs for technically five years almost six so it doesn't seem even possible but i'm i'm uh I'm glad that that we are where we are. I feel super blessed for sure. Absolutely. Well, we can't wait to have you here in Bangor. I I already know that you and Hardy are going to have a good time. Please don't concuss yourself before the show with your your neck slaps there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't hang, man. <laughs> man, we we uh we we talked about that and we decided to give that a break for a little while. <laughs> We are going to give ourselves like PTE or something, you know, like, like we play football or something. So we're we're uh, we're trying to figure out some other pre-show ritual right now. We haven't been playing as many shows together. Just you know, we've been doing, kind of doing our own thing for a little bit. But yeah, we're we're not going to be. I don't think we're going to be next lapping up, up there. I should say. So you're all good. You, you'll be fine. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. I was going to say I'll, I'll bring you some Tylenol or something. Man, God. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I've seen some of the videos. I'm like, you guys just wail on each other sometimes. I mean, yeah, you guys it's are. Not, it's, sometimes it depends on. I don't know what it really depends on. Like sometimes we'll just barely do it, and sometimes we laugh and let it go. So <laughs> we decided that's probably not good if we want to keep writing songs. For a yeah, while. exactly. Not need to be doing that. And remembering the songs when you're on stage, like five minutes yeah. later, you know. <laughs> yeah, or, or just speaking in general. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Man, this is a great interview. Love chatting with you. Can't wait to see you in Bangor coming up in July. Man, same to you. I enjoyed it, and uh, we'll uh, we'll have a little fun with minus the next slapping when I, when I when we get there. Slapping.